欢迎来到 Fort f o r e x 自然音标。Fort f o r e x 自然音标的课程，今天老师要为你介绍的是 Vocabulary of the Day。Vocabulary of the Day。同样的，我们今天可以到 CNN.com 去寻找本日的 Headline News of the Day。Headline News of the Day， 并且从中去学着学习一些啊，我们讲的一些单字的拼音逻辑以及它的学习的技巧。Okay, let's do this. Let's take a look from the CN.com and、uh, just browse around the front page and looking for the headline news of the days. And、uh, here, let me check it out.、Um, the news. Okay, under the most must see videos, must see videos. Here, I have an article title says. Alien invasions, strange sightings in Hong Kong. Aliens invasion, strange sight sightings in Hong Kong. Okay, let's click on the article title and see what's up in the story. Okay, students, here um we have a. You can do a further study in this article, and please, if you want to study with me, on the top right hand side, top right hand side on the search bar of the CNN, please type this article title. The article title is "Alien Invasion: Strange Sighting in Hong Kong." Alien Invasion: Strange Sightings in Hong Kong. Okay, let's take a look what's in the story. Thirty-one life-size sculptures dot that dot the city's towering skyline, as part of British artist Anthony Gormley's installations work, Event Horizon. Okay, let's take a look the story. Ah,、uh, from the. On this article, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. okay, take a look at the story. Okay, I'm going to click on the first video clip. Okay, you will see the image, the sculpture, ah、uh, has. Had been installed up, maybe on the roof and or the top of the building. And if you want to study with me, okay, I'm going to stop right here. And please, ah,、uh, the article title again is "Alien Invasion: Strange Sighting in Hong Kong." Okay, now I have prepared a note for you guys to study. And、uh, please read along with me. The article title: "Alien Invasion: Strange Sightings in Hong Kong." Aliens invasion: Strange sightings in Hong Kong. Okay, right here. This. Let's go ahead. Study the vocabulary words, and、uh, we're going to use the spelling bees. Uh, pronunciation and spelling improvement and skill. And、uh, now we will discuss the two vocabularies meanings, usage, pronunciation, and definition. Okay, let's take a look. The first vocabulary words: alien, alien, alien. Definition of alien in English: adjective belonging to a foreign country. Or nation. Example sentences. This is blundering on foreign soil in an alien culture, which they fail to grasp and、uh, arrogantly underestimate, and they will ultimately pay the price of their ignorance. None. A foreigner, especially one who is not. A naturalized citizen of the country where they are living, an illegal alien. 
more than one citizen because he is actually not a citizen but an illegal alien. Val is now detained in a preparation for deportation. Origin: Middle English from old French from Latin, alienus, belonging to another from alias, other. Okay, now again, I'm going to repeat the pronunciation and definition for this first vocabulary word, alien. Please follow me this time. Alien. 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 Definition of alien. In English, adjective belonging to a foreign country or nation. In the most synthesis, this is blundering on foreign soil in an alien culture, which they fail to grasp and arrogantly underestimate, and they will ultimately pay the price of their ignorance. Now. A foreigner, especially one who is not a naturalized citizen of the country where they are living, an illegal alien. More example sentences. Because he is actually not a citizen but an illegal alien, Val is now detained in a preparation for deportation. Origin: Middle English from or French from Latin. Aliens belonging to another from alias other. Okay, let's take a look. The second vocabulary word: sculpture. 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 Definition of sculpture in English: Nom the art of making two or three-dimensional representative. Or abstract forms, especially by carving stone or wood, by casting metal or plaster. Example sentences: The two levels above these are fully fitted out with the studios for a variety of arts, paintings, sculpture, self screen, graphics, and exhibit. Walls at the building's periphery. Origin: Middle English, Middle English from Latin "sculptura" from "sculpir," carve. Okay, students, let's take a look again. The second vocabulary word "sculpture." Please follow me this time. Sculpture. 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 Definition of sculpture in English: Nom. The art of making two or three-dimensional representative or abstract form, especially by carving stone or wood, or by casting metal or plaster. Example sentences: The two levels above these are fully fitted out with the studios. For a variety of arts, painting, sculpture, silk screen, graphics, and exhibit walls at the building's periphery. Origin: Late Middle English from Latin "sculptura," for sculpture, carve. Okay, student. Now it's the time we get to redefine those two vocabulary words. We're gonna use this forty phonics pronunciation and spelling improvement and skill. Well, let's take a look at the first vocabulary words. Alien. 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 A interpon L R interpon E N. Alien. Oh, come on, like an alien. This word. 它是中世纪英文，从古法文的拉丁或者拉丁文的 alienus， alienus， 好，这个字转过来，啊，那所以说原文就插了一个什么？插了一个 us 嘛，做结尾。所以我们来看这个字的，它是它是重音在第一个音节，所以第一个音节就是 strong， 
第一个音节，二三都是 weak syllable。第一个音节是重重音节，所以我们看它是 strong weak weak， 所以我们把两个 weak 的二三音节标出来。那二我们念 e b， 三 r， 所以我们知道这个第二音节的 i 是弱异音啊，弱长异音 ，n e 是弱尾 e n e。那当然第一个音节它，我们看它的组合，它是只有一个母音，所以它的 nucleus。它只有 nucleus nucleus a， 那它有没有 onset 跟 coda 呢？它两个都没有，所以我们看它是组合是 a break lean。那所以 a 这个地方我们要套用一个什么 vowel before syllable vowel before syllable and vowel is the only vowel vowel is the only vowel。Vowel is the only vowel. Vowel is the、uh, vowel is before the syllable. Therefore, vowel is the open syllable, and the, that will give you a long vowel a. So this a 要念长母音 a. 那当然 i 跟 e 我刚刚讲都念弱，一个念弱异音，一个弱念二音，所以念 lean. 它这是两个弱音。好，所以我们就念什么 alien. Alien, 啊、uh, ，Alien. 再看一遍 Vowel is the only vowel. Vowel A is the only vowel in the first syllable, and vowel is before syllable. Therefore, vowel A is open syllable. Therefore, give you the long vowel A, A. Alien. A alien. 好，第二个，我们看第二个字 sculpture. Sculpture. <笑>那我们来看 sculpture 呢？它是从拉丁文 sculptura 啊，这边转过来的哈，意思是 carve 啊，去，那我们叫做雕刻啊。那当然 sculpture 啊 ，sculpture。重音在第一个音节，同样的，我们可以看到啊，第重音在第一个音节，第二音节是弱音弱母音，啊，弱音节，第一个音节 strong syllable 强音节。那这时候我们就在弱音节，我们直接补弱音，好，所以我们看它的尾音，它啊，它这个尾音 ch， 刚好它是它是一个什么尾根 suffix， 啊，它是尾根啊 ，t u r e， 所以第 t u 合起来。U 不发音 ，T 要打双线，会念 ch。那 R E 呢？我们要标一个弱音结尾 ，r。Sculpture， sculpture， sculpture。好，那当然第一个音节有重音，所以我们看它的开头的 onset， 它的 onset 是 S C， 母音 nucleus 是 U。Coda 是 L P， 所以我们再写一遍 S C U L P T U R E break interpunct T U R E， 当然这边先写一个 ch， 好，先把我们后面的尾音标出来 ch， 那前面呢，所以就是 C C V C C consonant vowel consonant consonant， 所以 therefore it is The rhyme is the combination of V C C, V C C. Therefore, give you the short vowel U. Scalp, scalp. V C C short vowel U. Ah,、uh, V C C combination of vowel consonant consonant. V C C short vowel U. A,、uh, scalp, scalp, sculpture. A,、uh, scalp. Scalp, sculpture. 好，我们再把这两个单词再练习一遍。Alien, alien, alien. Sculpture, sculpture, 
sculpture. 好的，同学们，以上就是今天的我们的 vocabulary of the day。当然，同学们，如果你对 David 老师用这自然发音的方式引导你进入音标的世界，并且用自然音标来解释我们母音可表达出用线形符号所表达出来的短母音、长母音、轻母音、双母音，或者我们讲子音的特殊规发音方式，用线形符号来表达，对你有所帮助。能提供你一些拼音上的逻辑的话，也欢迎啊，大家啊可以加 David 老师做好友 ，Google Plus David T T I N G A D A， you can add me 啊 ，from your Google Plus 啊 friend list 啊 ，just add me up 啊 ，David T T I N G A D A， or you can write email to me， my email account is David T T I N G A D A at gmail dot com。Also, I'm a using line communicator, and my line ID is David Ting one six eight eight. Ah, message me, and、uh, if I have a free time, ah,、uh, I will do my best to reply your mail or messages. And still, thanks for your video watching and sharing. I wish you the best to conquer English. 以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day. 谢谢观众观赏。